Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So, last time we did a book review for my favorite Batman comic book of all time, Batman The Long Halloween, and I just want to say, I haven't read every Batman book, nowhere near every single Batman book, so that's my favorite Batman book I have read. I might find another book in the future that, a Batman that I haven't read that I think is better. It's just right now, that's my favorite Batman book of all time. This book I'm reviewing today is a good Batman book, but it's not nowhere close to the long halloween and for me this book is okay it's not great but it's okay to a point where i can say that if you're a batman fan you should definitely read this book this is batman year one by frank miller and david massachusetts um and then it says with richmond lewis whatever i think he did the inking or maybe he did the coloring i'm not sure what but no anyway this book is a Batman origin story, and I like Frank Miller on Batman, and I like him on The Dark Knight Returns, but he made some awful comic books in the past. He made some awful comic books. This right here was the first Batman book I ever read in my entire life, and I reread it again today so I could do this review for you guys. But, like I said, this is a Batman origin story. Um, it starts off with... Bruce returning to Gotham after many years, and we see a young Lieutenant um, Gordon. He is not commissioner in this one. There's a different commissioner in this one, and he is its first. It's his first time in Gotham City because he comes from Chicago. Um, Bruce left Gotham so he could train to be a better fighter um, in his mind and in his physical, so that he can come back to Gotham and rid Gotham of the villains and the destruction that's in Gotham because as everybody's entering Gotham Gordon views Gotham as not a great place Bruce views Gotham as not a great place it's not really a great place that's viewed on um so he comes back and he basically is trying to fight crime and so when he's walking down the alleyway he sees some thugs and he starts to fight them. They start to fight him. And there's this girl. He kicks the girl in the face. And we see Selena Kyle up in a window. And she doesn't like that. And she says, nobody hurts Molly. Holly, my fault, Holly. And that's the girl that he kicked. Because um, Holly stabbed Bruce in the leg. Selena jumps um, out of the window. And they fight each other. And she's not Catwoman yet. But she does later on become Catwoman. They don't know each other at this point in... Um, this timeline of Batman. So when they're fighting, the cops pull up and they get done with that. Also forgot to mention that um, Commissioner Gordon has a partner. Not Commissioner Gordon. Lieutenant Gordon has a partner. His name is, um, I think it's Flash or Flash. His name is uh, Flash. F-L-A-S-S. -S. Um, this is his partner, and basically he's taking him under his ropes, he's teaching Gordon the ways, but then Gordon gets beat up by these thugs, and he finds out that Flash is working with the thugs because he's one of the ones that beat him up. So he goes to give him a, um, get, get revenge on him and beats him up, and he knows that Flash is not going to say nothing because he's not going to admit that Gordon beat him up. Obviously, he doesn't like, um jim at all um and jim's going through these things with his wife how he's always out late because of his job and he's always meeting up with this girl named sarah and it's not quite good because he is in a relationship with his wife he's in a marriage basically and um sarah is i think one of the people that work at the is a cop or something she's either a cop or something to do with that stuff because she's always at the office with Jim at night but we go back to Bruce Wayne he needs to figure out something else because him just being a dude in a beanie with a jacket is not scaring no one he needs to put fear in his enemies so when a bat flies to the window it gives him the idea to use that as his fear to others because he was afraid of bats he knows other people are afraid of bats so he makes a bat suit and he becomes the Batman. 
and people do not like this. They don't even know if this Batman dude is a man. Flash said he saw Batman and said that Batman was a actual bat. They shot at him and it went through him, but you can see by the comic book page, it went through his cape, but they thought it went through his body. He throws batterings. They think it's him throwing stuff at, from his hands. They just think Batman is this mystical being when he's really just a man in a bat suit. Um, and Gordon obviously doesn't believe this stuff at all. Um, but everybody thinks he's a criminal, so they go try to take him down. Um, but Jim knows that Batman's not a criminal because he saved a woman, he saved a cat, he's been saving people. So how could you be a criminal if you've been saving people? Um, but Gordon still doesn't fully trust them. Gordon ends up cheating on his wife with Sarah, and he feels really bad about it because she's about to have a kid named James. And it's just, it's a lot going on with him and realizing that the commissioner doesn't really like his guts. His partner doesn't really like his guts. All of this is just, it's, it's going through his head that he realizes he needs to tell his wife about all of this. And he tells her the truth. She's disappointed, but they're about to have their kid. We see that um, Selena becomes Catwoman and she goes to try to take down the Falcones and Batman's there and they say that she's working with Batman, but she's not. They say that that's Batman's assistant, but she's not Batman's assistant and she's mad that people view her that way. Um, Flash gets rotted out um, for working with the bad guys with, on a drug operation. And towards the end of the book, the bad guys kidnap um, Jim Gordon's son and Batman saves his son from these bad guys. And that's when Jim Gordon realizes that Batman is a good guy. And at the end of the book, we get signs that there's somebody coming to Gotham City called the Joker. And Batman says, I have help from, I mean not Batman, Commissioner Gordon says, I have hope from someone, and then we see a page of Batman showing that they're going to be working together, um, and also too, the Commissioner is going to resign, so as we know later in the future, Jim does become Commissioner Gordon, but for now he's just a lieutenant, but he has a good relationship with Batman, and that's the end of the book. If you get the Trey Bear back, there is some sketch arts in the back, and there's also some covers, some notepads, a lot of good extra stuff. But yeah, that's my review for Batman Year One. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.